Hello, and thank you for taking an interest on our paper, Algorithmic Transparency from the South, examining the state of algorithmic transparency in Chile public administration algorithms. My name is Pablo Lapostol, and along with Robina Garrido and Maria Basermosilla wrote this paper with the support from the Chilean Transparency Council and IBD Lab. We are members of the GovLab of the UI. This is the Public Innovation Lab of the School of Government of the Adolfo Ibanez University. It focuses on the use of data science to improve public policy and management in Chile, and it seeks to contribute to the community through three main lines, research, education, and applied projects. Uh, this research paper is the result on our, work, on our work in research and applied projects. The context of this research. Uh, in this research, we examine the state of algorithmic transparency in Chile's public administration. This is in the context of the, that Chile has a weak culture of data protection and a strong law on access to information of the public administration, also known, at the, also known as the Transparency Law, that was enacted in 2009. This law has gradually succeeded in installing a policy of transparency in public institutions linked to legal obligations through formal and institutional channels for opening information, mainly related to acts and documents. The research was conducted in three stages. The first one, through a survey of information. This was a general request to the public bodies subject to the Transparency Council. Uh, an analysis of the subs subset of system. We inquiry on the first stage on the use of automated decision system and after receiving the responses we analyzed a subset of the systems reported and after analyzing that subset on the on the requirements of algorithmic transparency we propose an standards in accordance with the Chilean legal framework and the powers of the Council for Transparency. The scope of interest of our research was broad. Uh, we were interested in decision-making systems that uh, decide autonomously a certain aspect of certain, certain acts on the public administration, but also in systems that support and aid in this in in taking these decisions. So we included artificial intelligence, but not only that. Um, for example, we considered the uh, system for scholarly admission. This is the an algorithm that decides the the admission in the public school system. And also we consider, for example, DART. DART is a screening tool that assists in the diagnosis of retinopatia diabetica. Uh, a disease that uh, was causing a, a lot of trouble because of the delay and the unavailable, you know, unavailability of doctors in the public, uh, in the public, in the public health sector in Chile. The first stage of the research was done uh, through a survey, as we indicated. In this survey, it uh, was carried out by the means of a voluntary questionnaire sent through an official request in January of 2021 addressed to the 870 public agencies under the supervision of the Transparency Council. In this questionnaire, we ask the questions that are presented here, but the main challenges were on the on, on conceptual aspects. What we meant for automated decision system or what personal data meant or what category of data we were referring. All this interaction that we maintained with different public bodies uh, uh, resulted in a, in a note of project clarification sent to the different public bodies. Uh, some figures of this first stage of research can be seen here. And, and a peculiarity of the Chilean case uh, can be seen in the number of unique automated decision systems. Uh, a lot of the automated decision systems were reported more than once. Uh, for example, an hospital and another hospital indicated that they use the same system. This happened because in Chile, a lot of the automated decision system and a lot of the public administration algorithms are deployed at a central level from the uh, central government, and that it sends and it deploys it on the regional offices or in the regional 
bodies that are located. So a lot of the the automated decision system were reported more than one. And also a lot of the public bodies indicated that they use automated decision system, but actually they weren't using it. In the end, we ended up with 92 final system, 92 automated decision system from the total of answers that we received. And from that subset of information, we of, of system, we determined that 17 of them had public information available, that is information on the operation of the automated decision system on the public body website. 53 of them didn't have any type of information or public information available. And we only came to know of the existence of the automated decision system through the answer of the own public body. 19 of them had, had information available on other sources, for example, pre press or uh, the the website the website of the developer or the provider of the automated decision system and funnily enough <laughs> free free system the only information available was in the public procurement website so after fin finishing this first stage of a recollection of, inf of information we started the second the second part of the research this is to the analysis of a subset of system that are indicated on the table on the on the left or uh, where we uh, we took this system and run it through a algorithmic transparency standard that is indicated on the paper but basically we went to the website and the different sources of information available on the operation of the automated decision system and try to answer the questions that are on the right. So this was a pretty labor-intensive ta labor task of trying to access or try to find answers to this question. And the main, find the main findings of this section was that there is a lack of a common nomenclature of the, for the identification of automated decision system. There is generally a lack of information. And there is the funny case of uh, negative responses and public use of automated decision systems. I mean, some public bodies publicize that they use an automated decision system, but on the answer to us, they indicated that they didn't use it. Also, one of the peculiar things in Chile is that uh, there there is information on on the use of automated decision system, but the reason why that information is published is incidental. It's not consistent. It's does is is not backed by a general obligation of algorithmic transparency. It falls under the framework of the general transparency law. So this results on a fragmented and dispersed information and also a lack of a standardization of information. There are cases that there were a lot of precise information, but in some cases the information was general and not very clear. And also there is no defined addressee. There were information that could be comprehended from a technical public, but also uh, there is information that was precisely designed for the citizen, for someone that is not instructed in technical matters. And also an important note in Chile is that the public, private, private sector plays an important role. A lot of the automated decision systems are provided by the public sector. After this second section of the research, we try to analyze the legal framework, the legal standard that are submitted that is submitted to the automated decision system. And we propose a framework that is going to result in a standard for algorithmic transparency that is going to be implemented by the Transparency Council in this year. So we ended up concluding that in Chile, the criteria that need to be included in the standard of algorithmic transparency is as follows. The legal powers that enables to implement an automated decision system and the policy that supports that, the effects of the automated decision system deployment and how it operates, and the purpose of the standard, the data that is processed, and the methods, means, and possibilities of challenge or complaint. 
Also, information regarding the cost and implementation of construction and contact information to direct questions regarding the operation of the automated decision system. These different criteria are going to be included or an instruction that is going to be published by the Transparency Council that adopt more or less the criteria that we propose to be included according to the Chilean legal framework on transparency. Thank you very much.